Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington. I've got something really cool for you today. So I'm standing right next to one of my favorite trees, which is the American beech tree. If you look really closely at some of these branches, it looks like there's snow all over them. But it's been 80 degrees for the past couple of weeks, and we haven't had much precipitation at all, at least here in western Pennsylvania. So what is all this snow in these branches? Well, this is a large colony of aphids, known as the beech blight aphid, or Gryloprocyphilus imbricator. And they secrete this waxy coating around them to protect themselves against predation and also to protect themselves against drying out and desiccation. And so they're actually feeding on the sap within the beech tree and they consume so much of it that they excrete some of it in the form of honeydew, which is a complex mixture of sugars, a protein, and to a smaller degree lipids. Now another common name for this aphid is the boogie woogie aphid because, believe it or not, these little girls really like to dance, but you gotta motivate them to dance. You gotta push them a little bit. And so they look really calm right now. So what you gotta do is just bend the branch a little bit. To see how calm they are, watch what happens whenever I just shake this branch just a little bit. So what they're doing right now is that they're shaking their posterior end. And what a lot of people tell you is that they're doing that to protect themselves against predators. And that's probably true, but what I really like to believe is that, you know, they're just dancing out here. Like, why not? It's a good day in the woods, it's nice and warm, it's sunny, why not dance a little bit? And so there's actually a three-way network, three-way relationship going on here between the beech tree, the aphid, and then there's a fungus that likes to colonize that honeydew. So remember, the aphid's feeding on that sap within the tree. It's excreting a sugary, rich substance known as honeydew, and that sugary, rich substance is the perfect substrate for a sooty mold fungus known as Scoriae spongiosa. And Scoriae spongiosa will colonize the honeydew on the branches, also on the forest floor, and to some degree on the trunk. And so we can't see it right now, but follow me down below and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the forest floor. So right now I'm right underneath a colony of aphids and I can actually feel some of that honeydew dripping on me. It's very, very slight. It's almost like a misting. It's not very large droplets, but I can feel it coming down on me. So now we're looking for the fungus. We couldn't really see it up there, but if you take a look around me, you can see this blackish material and you can see some of the straw colored material. This is an easy way to look for the boogie woogie aphid and look for the fungus. Just look in the forest and look for these big black marks underneath beech trees. So what this straw-like material is, is this is the asexual stage of Scoriae spongiosa. You can see it on this branch right here. You can see it in some of this leaf litter. It's actually colonizing this whole area. So that's the asexual stage, that straw-colored material. And then it's going to eventually form the blackish material. And this is the sexual stage. So it's producing the sexual stage at this point. And it kind of looks like the chaga fungus. But it's not the chaga fungus, so I would definitely not consider making medicine out of Scoriae spongiosa. So are either of these organisms actually harming the beech tree? Well, not necessarily. So the aphids are just feeding off of the sap, not causing much physiological damage. It might be cosmetically unappealing or amusing, depending on your perspective, but not much physiological damage. And the fungus comes in, but the fungus is just colonizing that honeydew. So it's just a saprophyte off of the honeydew, just breaking down some of the material in that honeydew, the sugary rich mixture. And it's not actually penetrating the beech tree. Now, large clusters of it in the wintertime, whenever you see that blackish material, that might bring down some branches and it might impede photosynthesis in the fall. But other than that, it's not really harming the beech tree. But what it can be harming is actually the understory. So it can coat a lot of these leaves and prevent photosynthesis, and prevent the sprouting of a lot of different species. So what a cool interaction between the beech tree, between the aphid, and between the fungus. And I encourage you to get out and look at your beech trees and see if you can find this complex network. See if you can find sooty mold, the boogie woogie aphid, and of course, get them to dance if you can. And don't be afraid to dance along with them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.